Hello and welcome back, Star Wars fans. So we are here with an interesting story concerning the Mandalorian show, and I'm going to credit the direct.、Um, they've come with some facts. So this is concerning the rumored behind-the-scenes drama, where it was rumored that Pedro Pascal had basically wanted more time out of the mask in the show The Mandalorian. So their article states the BTS or the behind the scenes Star Wars problems date as far back as the original film, where an uncooperative crew, disappointing early visual effects, and studio blowback briefly landed George Lucas in the hospital. Many more setbacks presented themselves over the course of creating the original trilogy. But the prequel films largely went off without a hitch, save for a major storm in Tunisia and the strain of creating digital characters. The issues surrounding the Star Wars productions have been well documented. The Force Awakens saw the dismissal of the original screenwriter, Michael Arndt. Rogue One required very extensive reshoots that completely retooled the film's third act. And both Solo and what became the Rise of Skywalker both had their initial directors sacked, and resulted in rushed productions. The Last Jedi, ironically, had the smoothest developmental process, despite being perhaps the most controversial project of the new bunch. So things apparently seem to be going well for the Mandalorian show, also. From the sound of things, production on the series has been a great collaborative process, with no significant issues to speak of. But one rumor surfaced recently that alleged Pedro Pascal was unhappy with his helmeted role, and that he even left the show. Is there any truth to that? Let's hear from the man himself. So the article here does go on to link、um, the television interview via the Twitter user Aaron Kor. And in it, we see the actor Pedro Pascal saying that the rumors regarding his desire to be out of Din Djarin's helmet were untrue, and that he is happy to do whatever is best for the show. So this is what Pascal said: "It's a really wonderful way of telling a story, and it's always been a very clear creed for the character, the collaborative process of the whole thing." We've all been on the same page with this. What I want is for them to make the best show possible, however they get that done. So, what does this mean? This should effectively put to bed any and all rumors regarding this matter. The claim that Pascal was unhappy with being helmeted as Din Djarin. According to this article, they say that it always smelled of an attempt to manufacture drama and spool up the show's fans. So it's not even the least bit surprising that there is no truth to the words. Din Djarin's creed, as people know, forbids members from removing their helmets in front of others, and is a central element to the character. And Pedro obviously knew that going in. The actor has actually embraced the challenges of needing to portray thoughts and feelings through subtle body movements, citing his theater work as the experience needed to make such a performance possible. The article goes on to say the Mandalorian has had the smoothest Star Wars production of the Disney era by far. The runner-up goes to the Last Jedi, but even that film saw significant differences in opinion regarding the portrayal of certain characters, namely between Mark Hamill and director Ryan Johnson. And we all know that Mark Hamill did not like the portrayal of Luke Skywalker, according to him, and according I think to so many fans, Luke has always been. Very optimistic, very hopeful, and you know to see him kind of being the opposite of that.、Um, one thing Mark Hamill said, and I'll paraphrase here. He said that for him, that wasn't Luke Skywalker; it was Jake Skywalker. So <laughs> that's a very interesting thing. So the article goes on to say that all indicators point to the making of the Mandalorian being a fantastic experience for the cast. Crew and creators, and is backed up by the final product seen on screen and the overwhelming enthusiasm fans have for the show. The Mandalorian isn't going anywhere. 
Pedro isn't going anywhere. The actor even said recently that any new spin-off stories must have to involve his character in some capacity. And he'd certainly be down to make an appearance. Pascal's desire to play Din Djarin remains high and he'll be in it for the long haul as this iconic hero's journey continues. So there we have it. You know, we had heard all those reports and I think for so many fans it was something that was a source of concern as they thought perhaps that this show had some of the drama that we've heard um, going on with the sequels and it worried a lot of people going into season two, especially that people had heard the report that Pedro had walked off of set and, you know, the show was going to take a significant turn where perhaps it would focus on other characters and not him. But I think that has turned out to be kind of not what the case is because he was just unmasked in the other episode and he's been front and center and i'm sure as they go into the finale you know people expect him to go up against moff gideon wielding actually a whole new weapon so how could he have been sidelined out of his own show even if i know it's quite possible to do something like that with a character who spends most of his time helmeted but it seems like he's gonna be there for the long haul and who knows now that he's unmasked in front of other people, that will significantly affect how his character views being in the helmet and out of the helmet and what that means for him and the creed he took. Uh, moving forward, does he keep it on now that he knows he's broken the code? Um, we know fully well that Mayfeld saw him with the helmet off. So what's going to happen moving forward. And I think that the showrunners themselves would also like perhaps more time with him out of the helmet. Not all the time, obviously, but he's already broken the creed, you know, and I'm sure that <laughs> Grogu's going to get to see him without the helmet. He's basically his dad now, right? So um, very interesting stuff. Share your thoughts with me about all this in the comment section. Let's keep it uplifting and no hate for anyone who brought, you know, the rumors. Let's just have a great Star Wars conversation in the comment section. So guys, thank you for watching. If you like this channel, like this video and click subscribe on the channel and click that notification bell to keep you updated on any new Star Wars content. And if you want to watch out for some great Star Wars reactions and videos, I will post links in the cards, the end screen, the pinned comment. And if you'd like to check me out on Patreon where I will appreciate your support. And you know what? I hope to be sharing with you Star Wars fans some cool personalized art modeled after your truly um, of Ahsoka. I'll post something right here and I can share with you the HD copy for this month only. So check me out on Patreon for any amount and I'll appreciate you. Thank you for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a blessed one.